Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you for joining me today and looking at this video on I Love Lucy. We're going to be focusing on a very, very interesting topic. I would love to see your feedback down below in the comment section. I really always look forward to reading those. Now, I do want to tell you and announce that I am doing a giveaway, but I'm going to give you all the details at the end of the video. So stick around, watch the video, enjoy, and at the end, I'll tell you how you can rent something really, really cool for the holiday season. Since you guys and gals have loved my videos focusing on sets of I Love Lucy, I have another quickie for you and hopefully you enjoy this one. Let's jump back to season three of I Love Lucy. The episode is called Baby Pictures. We have primarily the Applebee's in the plot, but most importantly, we have Carolyn Appleby and we get to see her apartment. That is super important. I want you to remember this set. I just want to give you a couple of pictures and a couple of photos so that you can get familiar with it. But let me tell you that this apartment set was used once again in the next season. Yes, it was used in season four. Now this episode is called The Passports. Now remember, Lucy could not find any record of her being born in Jamestown because she was actually born in West Jamestown, according to the story, and she needed an old childhood friend, Helen Kaiser, to basically make an affidavit saying that she knew her when she was young. So she goes over to her apartment, and here it is, guys and gals, the exact same set. Now let me tell you, the apartment of Carolyn Appleby did come first, and then you see this in the next season. So what they did, they redressed the set. If you notice, the front door on the right hand side is in the exact same position. You have the same doorknob. You can look and there's the closet, same position as well. Of course, if you notice things like the picture frames or the statues, those are easily interchangeable, especially after a season. But notice that big wall that is kind of splitting the room in Helen Kaiser's apartment. That is pretty much what replaced the fireplace that was in the Applebee's apartment previously. Looking at the Applebee's apartment, notice the door that leads to the bedroom, but also the curtain on the left hand side, which would obstruct another set that would be on that left hand side, most likely the Ricardo's apartment. Now this still, you can see that bedroom door on the left hand side. You will notice a big difference and that is the window. The window in Helen Kaiser's apartment extends to the end and then it doesn't go all the way to the door. But you always have to take into consideration that sometimes they tear down these sets in pieces and then they put them back together again and they could do it in a few hours. They could extend the room and it's very easy to do that. What they need are the basic backbone of the sets which are the doorways usually and that's what holds up most of the sets. And so you could see that the three main doorways are the constants here and the rest can all be redressed and changed at a moment. I put these images side by side guys and gals so you could see the differences in the doors. Look at the entrance doors. You can see that the moldings on the left are in a gray color and the ones on the right are in a white color. That's easily painted but look at how much taller the entrance door is than the closet door. There's a little bit of a difference and you can see that it's pretty much the exact same thing. We can see guys and gals a bit of more difference here. We can see the windows are in the exact same spot. Isolate the windows, same spot. Of course, different curtain designs. But look at the left wall. It's a little bit different in design. These guys sometimes had the blueprints for these things. And so they could roughly make the same set again, but there will be little touches. The one on the left, of course, the Applebee's apartment is a more primitive set design. And so that's why you see the curtain on the left or else on the right, you see there's a little armoire there. But look at the door, it's in the same position. And where the armoire is on the left, on the right, you see a bit of a wall that extends right to the window. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching this video, guys and gals. I want to give you the information for the giveaway. This is probably the giveaway that I'm most excited for, and I hope you are too. I'm going to give away five completely free opportunities for me to call you. That's me, Rick Nig, to call you at your home or your cell phone and have a little bit of a one on one chat. It'll just be for a few minutes but a way that maybe we can chat about the holidays, just ask you what videos you enjoy, and have a way to give a little bit of myself during the holiday season. I wanna be able to talk to you guys and interact with you. So how would you win one of these? It's very simple, just go down below, 
the first thing you need to do, these are requirements, these are things that make you eligible, you need to subscribe. Interestingly enough, 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss my videos, you may not see some here and there, and so if you subscribe and you hit that bell button, you'll be able to see every single one of my video posts. So go ahead and do that. The second thing, I'll need you to comment below. It could be anything that you want, but at the end, you have to write, be hopeful. You have to write the words be hopeful at the end of your comment and that'll make you eligible. I will pick five random people from this video and that's it guys and gals, uh, it's that simple. From the day the video is uploaded, I'm gonna give you a week to enter this contest. Again, five people will be chosen and I will call you personally for a few minutes so that we can chat. Hopefully you enter the contest, hopefully you win and I wish you the best of luck. Don't forget guys and gals, most importantly, be hopeful.